I'm Derek Brooks, Pro Football Hall of Famer. What's up, everybody? This is Dion Branch, and you're checking in with my main man, JR Sports Brief. So look, folks, it's JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. We're getting ready for Super Bowl 49. It's the NFL experience. We're at the Wilson setup. We have Molly Wallace from Wilson here. How you doing, Molly? I'm great. How are you? I have nothing to complain about. What's going on here at the NFL experience with Wilson? Well, Wilson every year brings our football factory on site so we can show the fans how we make the NFL game balls. Awesome. And I'm going to get a chance to do that myself? You sure are. I think you can do it. I hope so. Now, where do the actual balls get made? We're here at the Experience, but generally, where's the, the headquarters? Our football factory is in Ada, Ohio, where we make over 700,000 game footballs each and every year. So that's anything from youth football to the NFL game balls. That's awesome. Now, what are some of the steps? Give me the quick steps that I'm going to go through. The basic steps are you're going to watch Jane sew that football. You take the panels, we sew it inside out. You're going to go turn the football right side out. It's going to go back to the sewing machine. Back to the turner, and then we're going to go ahead and insert the lace, uh, the, the bladder and the laces on the football, and then we're going to mold the football. That sounds like a lot. What's, what's the easiest? So we have two people who actually sew all of our NFL game footballs, and you're going to meet one of them today, which is Jane. And she's been sewing, she sewed every Super Bowl game ball since the beginning. What's the first stop? We're here at the, what is it, sewing and stitching? The first stop is starting with Jane. Jane is our sewer. Hey, Jane. Been doing it for 48 Good years. Good to meet you, Jane. So she knows what she's doing. <laughs> so the first thing we do is we sew the uh, panels of the leather inside out. So Jane's going to show us how to do it. It's one of the biggest intrigues when people come and look at the sewing machine. It was patented in the 1890s. So it's been around for a long time, but it's still the machine that actually works the best for us making our game footballs. Thank you, Jane. This is nice. And then what happened? This is, this is the beginning. This is the beginning, and now it goes back to Emmett, and he'll turn it right side out so it looks like a football. Right. It's inside out right now. Right. Well, it's inside out right now. It's inside out. Yeah. And we're going to make it happen. Thanks All a right. lot. Appreciate it. Now we'll go to Emmett. Hey Emmett, how are you? JR. Hi. Good meeting you. What's what's next? We gonna turn this bad boy inside out? I'm gonna try. You gonna try? Can I try too? I, I may not be sure. able to. Sure. It's I'm, not gonna work I, though. I, I, oh yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Emmett said I could do it, I'm gonna try. So you're just more. Right. See, that's probably the one thing that I could do right. <laughs> Can I get one hit? One? Like, where should I hit it? Just right now. Oh, this is warm. This is hot, like right out the oven. That did it right, right? Right. I did something correct. If you're a sewer, or you're a turner, or you're a lacer, if you do that each and every day, you're going to become very, very good at what you do. And from a football perspective, it's got to have a consistency and feel. So each and every time a quarterback takes one out of the box when they receive it from Wilson, they all feel exactly the same. This is what it's supposed to look like. That's what, okay, yeah, Emmett has to do that one too. Now it's ready to go back and have James throw it. When I grow up, I need to be like Emmett. <laughs> Emmett, just wave to everybody. I need to be like Emmett. I gotta lace, it's time to lace them up now. Emmett's the man. Lace the football. Okay, how I are you, Pam? You should be nice <laughs> Good meeting you, Pam JR. So we're gonna put the bladder in. Yes. And we're gonna lace it up. Put and air in it first, and then lace it. Oh, I would hope so. Yeah, <laughs> we want some air. We want some air in the football. We can throw it. So what do we do here? I'm gonna help you out where I can. When we go to the Super Bowl, the first thing they feel and see, they get on the field, they want to see the football being kicked off. All those cameras and all the lights are on it, and the pride factor is really, really big because they all feel like maybe that was my football, maybe I turned it, maybe I laced it, maybe I sewed it. So it's really, really important for us to see it on the field and just a pride, and that, that's what they do every day, and they're still all made by hand. Think you could have done that? No, not in that time. That was like sub 90 seconds. You see, if I was making the football, I would have been fine with it like this. I would have stopped here. You would have stopped? Yeah, because it's still, there's still more with the laces. Wow. I feel like uh, 
I think I did okay for helping out, Pam. What do you think? High five. High five. Pam, let them see that ring. Close. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. So, Molly, I think I did a good job here, no? You did a great job. We got to look at the laces. You did a fantastic job. Well, I'm glad, and, and I'm going to take this home. I'm going to put this up. I'm not going to play with it, and I'm not going to deflate or overinflate this football. This is gold. Uh, thanks to all of you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming by. We really love showing you how to make the footballs. Thank you. And anybody who wants more information, they can absolutely go where? Wilson.com, right? Wilson.com. <laughs>